What's going on, YouTube? This is what we Josh do, and today we have an exciting video because this was sent to me by Thermal Master, and I have lately been using the heck out of their thermal camera, the P2. This is the P2 Pro. The one I originally did a video on was the world's second smallest. This is the world's smallest. This is their upgrade. So I couldn't be more excited to have something that's even better than the one that I've been using and been enjoying. So there you go. Look at this. World's smallest thermal camera. There it is. This is the P2 Pro. It says Thermal Master. Got a little bit of stuff here on the back of it. Got some specifications. Magnetic macro lens up to 1100 degrees or 600 Celsius. Digital zoom. Barely any power draw. Let's dig into this thing. I'm excited. So then here's this. It is sealed. Let's break that seal. <laughs> I love unboxings. They're so much fun. You get to play with new tech. You get to try new things. So in here, we've got the little extension cable so that you don't have to have it directly connected to the bottom of your phone. You can have a you know an extra foot or two and then in here we have some instructions a thick guide oh my gosh then we have the macro lens right here and then we have the actual unit right here look at this beauty so one thing i'm noticing is unlike my other one there doesn't appear to be a case that comes with it. So maybe this is that case. So let's peel this little thing off here. Very cool. And no, that doesn't. So I would definitely keep that on. Oh, it's yeah, like it's magnetic. It just kind of sticks to it. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So on my keychain here, I have this thing. This is their P2, not the Pro version. So let's take a look and yeah that is smaller the lens itself is bigger it looks like maybe but yeah this one has a neat little case i almost want to just put this in there and use that <laughs> all right and since i made the video of the normal p2 there has been some amazing updates the app is now available on the Google Play Store. The version I downloaded was 1.0 and now it's updated and it's like 1.017 or 1.17 or something. And now it's actually in the Play Store and they just had a recent update to the app. So yeah, version 1.17. So I already have the app downloaded. I'm going to connect the unit to the bottom of my phone here and it popped up, it says, do you want it to always allow? I say yes. And there you go. P2 Pro, and then in the settings, we can log into an account. We can see the device information, the software version, the model, and then the image settings, we can switch this stuff. So video recording, sound switch, shutter switch, split screen. I like having the time because it shows. And also people ask what thermal camera I use. So I put the little watermark in there too. It puts it at the very bottom right and it puts the date and time at the very top left. So. If you're someone that prefers Fahrenheit, you can switch it to Fahrenheit. If it gets to a certain very high degree or very low degree, you can have an alarm set. And then there is a variable correction mode. And then other settings. We have language help, about us, and privacy. All right, and then most importantly, we click the camera button. And then now it's going to give us a live feed. And one of the best quality of life improvements in my video, I showed my huge topped on gun. They have now added the highest, lowest, and where it's aimed at. So you get three different readouts at one time. So I have my laptop charging right now and it's providing 70 watts to my laptop from this thing. And if I point the temperature gun at it, I'm just gonna record. So you go here to the record button and you hit start. And then as you can see, the hottest is going to be kind of at the top right. It says 42. I have it pointed at the center, which is 40. 
and then the lowest is off to the side at just 22. And now it shows the hottest is 43. What I have it pointed at is 40. And then off outside of the picture, it's going to be 22 degrees Celsius. All right, and now we have the little macro lens attached. It's as simple as popping it off, right? And then popping it on. And then once it's on, we can get really, really close. And look at that detail. My gosh, we can get super close with the macro lens. And then when we want to get further away, we just pop the lens off and it is in its full detail from further away. So there's the macro functionality. Very clean view. So this is a higher quality version and smaller than the P2 because this is the P2 Pro. But this is fantastic because you can basically see exactly what's going on with your device. You can point this at circuit breakers and see how hot your circuits are. In here we got this circuit breaker. So we can look at the fuses and we can see exactly what circuit is the hottest. Everything else is cold. So whatever circuit this is, that's the one that has the most power going through it. And like in this situation, I can tell that you know it's getting warm and then when I see the watts decrease on here, I can tell that, okay, so it hit you know a high temperature, so it's thermal throttling. It makes it much easier to tell what's going on. And if you point this at your car, at your fuse box, when your car's running. All right, I'm outside, it's windy. I'm using the audio built in directly from the app instead of my external microphone. And I got my engine running, and there's my fuse box. Everything's nice and cold, because I just started the vehicle, but there's the engine and coolant lines and AC and all that good stuff. And yeah, so you can see like what's extremely hot and what's cold and figure out what's going on with your vehicle instead of just touching something and knowing that it's warm. Uh, that's another thing my hand got in the way. So now it's blocked and that's what that extension's gonna be for. Oh yeah, I was recording and thankfully it stopped recording. So now I plug this in and now I can have my phone right there and then I can set this up. And now with the extension, you can see right there on the screen, but the unit's right here. So that's pretty freaking cool. Now my hand's not gonna get in the way and this can be further away from the phone. And heck, I can even measure the temperature of the phone itself with this thing now. Yeah, and now the temperature is uh, 53 degrees Celsius and it has slowed to 60 watts. My filming lights that I was using to make this video are pretty hot, 56 degrees. One really cool thing is you can also point it at like the wall and stuff and see where you're losing your uh, heat or your cold. So there's the window, there's the vent, and yeah, so you can see this corner here is the colder part. The little blue dot showing the coldest point. And this is my PS5. It is currently on and it's 42 degrees in the back of it at the hottest. And if I just walk around my apartment complex, I can just have this little camera and see. There's the window. It leads out directly outside the door. 21, 24... <laughs> There's the cat sitting in the cat tree. And the dog laying on the couch. And then my wife's like 3D printing stuff over here. We've got a battery backup down there for the 3D printer. And then there you go. It's been a little bit since that was ran, but yeah, 35 degrees Celsius. And then if we come to the front door here, you can see that uh, around the door, 19 degrees Celsius. The center is 22. And everywhere else, it's like 22. To, okay, it's the same, all right. And then if we come into the bedroom here, we've got a blackout curtain against the window. So on the left there, we've got like our little charger for our phones when we sleep. And then the Nest Wi-Fi Pro, probably should relocate that to a spot where it doesn't get so warm because it's currently at 42 degrees. And it just sits behind the TV, which currently is not on. And so since I have this on the extension cable, see, you can see me now. Hi. You can see that this uh, solar generator is 37, 39 degrees, 43 degrees, 
56 degrees in there and that's pretty freaking cool so this is our refrigerator freezer it's the uh, main unit and it's you know in the 20s and then behind it is the battery backup in case the power goes out the refrigerator and freezer will stay powered for like tsh, my gosh like for 12 to 16 hours with that unit depending on how much the doors opened and closed it could definitely go even longer than that shows exactly what uh is going on and then we open the freezer and you can see that it's at negative 21 degrees celsius where i have it pointed in the middle and then off to the left it's negative 23 where the ice machine is and then we open the refrigerator and it's going to be negative six at the coldest and one degree where i have it pointed well not even one degree if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up i'd greatly appreciate it and it helps out the youtube algorithm more than you know Oh yeah, now I can point it at myself. There you go, I'm talking to my microphone right now. And yeah, <laughs> that looks freaking wow. <laughs> There's something to say about that, that's crazy. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.